Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Bitcoin using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer here in 2025 in less than 5 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you keep more and earn more Bitcoin here in 2025. Also, a quick note, I do want to mention there's a small change here on the YouTube channel due to some advertisement changes that Google is making on YouTube. You will notice small breaks throughout the videos. This allows the advertisements to continue running, which allows me to provide these videos here for free for you on YouTube. So I really do appreciate that uh, understanding that comes along with that. So let's dive into the video. Now, I do always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the markets as a point of reference. So feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes if you're not interested in this portion of the video. But overall, crypto still remains fairly flat today, up about 0.19% to a total market cap of $2.84 trillion. Now, we have started to see very slight upward motion across a lot of the cryptocurrencies. Of course, Bitcoin being up very similar to the market, 0.19%, but on the seven day, they are up about 3.2%. So right now, Bitcoin's sitting just under $87,000, but of course, earlier this year, um, their all-time high for Bitcoin was $109,000. Now, if you look at previous charts, previous bull runs, all of that, people have predicted prices anywhere from $250,000 all the way to $500,000 for Bitcoin. Now, nobody knows where that's going to land. I personally think it's going to be somewhere in that range, but now could be one of the best times to start mining Bitcoin using your GPU to earn this Bitcoin now so you are prepared for the bull run. Now you might be thinking, how are we going to mine Bitcoin with a GPU? You, you just can't do that anymore. Well, we're using a site called Unminable. Now if you're not familiar with this site, it basically does what the title says. It allows you to mine coins that are not traditionally mineable or coins like Bitcoin that are mineable but require tons and tons of computing power. So the way they do that is you actually pick an algorithm and a coin to mine that are profitable for your computer. If you don't know what that is, I'd recommend going out to whattomine.com. Check out that site, enter in the hardware that you're going to be mining with, and it'll tell you the best and most profitable algorithm. For this video, I'll be using Kapow, which is a Ravencoin-based uh, algorithm, meaning that I'm going to be mining Ravencoin. Unminable will then take that, convert it to Bitcoin, and pay me out. The reason you might want to do this is a couple different reasons. You know, if you want to mine but don't want to spend a ton of money on Bitcoin uh, mining equipment, you can use your GPU to do that. And if you live in an area where you are taxed on any trades in crypto, getting paid out straight in Bitcoin, if this is a coin you're looking to hold, could be very, very helpful. So with that being said, what you're going to do in the description, there's a link to Unminable. If you use that link, you will save 25% on your pool mining fee, which we'll talk about in a second, or navigate over to unminable.com. Then what you're going to do is select this Get Started with our Guided Setup button. Two options here, Basic and Advanced. I always recommend going with Basic. Works for 99% of people, and it's the one that I personally use. Now I'm going to be going down the GPU mining path here, but if you are following along and want to mine with your Windows-based CPU or you're looking to mine with a Mac OS-based computer, follow this CPU option and I do have a full-length tutorial on how to mine using your Mac, so I'd check that out as well. Here's where you choose that algorithm that you're going to mine with. There's tons of options here. Now again, I'm going with Kapow, but please choose what's best for your hardware according to whattomine.com. Here's where you choose the coin you want to get paid out in, which of course is Bitcoin, and you'll go ahead and enter in your wallet address. So I do want to take just a second to say please double and triple check that this address is correct. If it is incorrect, nothing will show an error or anything like that. You will be able to go through the tutorial the rest of the way, start mining, and see your stats and everything, but when it comes time to get paid, you just simply won't. So I'd hate to see you mine and then not end up getting paid. So once you've double-checked that, go ahead and select Next. 
Now the final step before downloading everything and getting started is the referral code section. Now if you used the link in the description, you'll notice my Bitcoin Tips referral code auto-populated here just like it did on screen. If you went straight over to Unminable and still want to get that 25% discount, go ahead and type in the code. It is Bitcoin-Tips, capital B, capital T. So here on Unminable, there's a 1% pool mining fee, meaning that if you mine 100 Bitcoin, obviously you're going to be very happy. Uh, it's probably going to take you a while, but hey, you'll still be very happy. One of those Bitcoin is going to go to Unminable. So with that being said, using this, it actually lowers it down to 0.75%, meaning that for that same 100 Bitcoin, instead of giving one whole Bitcoin, you're going to give 0.75. So I know that's a bit of an exaggeration, but it makes the numbers a little easier. This fee is taken out every time you get paid. So it isn't just when you hit 100, they take that one from you. So I always recommend using this, but if you don't want to continue without it, feel free to pay those higher fees or use it and get that discount. Now the final step is downloading all the files and getting started. As you can see, there's a couple different options for miners here, but I always recommend Gminer as this is the one that I personally use. I've had a lot of really good luck with it and it supports both major GPU manufacturers, so it should work on just about every computer. What you're going to do is select download miner files. This is going to take you to the GitHub where you select this Windows 64 zip file. Download this and extract it. If you miss the extraction step, you're going to get an error right away when we go to start the miner in just a minute. So if that's something you're running into, make sure you didn't forget to extract the files. Once you've done that, come back over to Unminable, and what you're going to do is make sure that you're still on the miner that you chose, in this case Gminer, and select this blue download.bat file button. This is going to download the file to your computer, and you can see that Google Chrome has called this out and said, hey, this file can't be verified. Are you sure you want to continue? You will have to select this warning and say download unverified file. Now, if you're not comfortable doing this, simply select delete from history. Unfortunately, there is no workaround for this. So um, what I'd recommend in that case, if you're not comfortable downloading, check out some of my other videos on faucets and cloud mining where you don't actually have to download anything to your computer. But if you are all right downloading that, go ahead and select the download. And then all you have to do is drag and drop this file into the folder with the rest of the files you just extracted. So as you can see here, I have unminable btc kapow gminer.bat. At this point, you are ready to get started mining, and all you have to do is double click this to get started. Now, when you first double click it, you will notice a uh, Windows Defender pop up shows up here saying, Hey, Windows has protected your PC. What you're going to do is say more info and then run anyway. Now again, similar to Google Chrome's warning, if you're not comfortable with this, simply select do not run. Delete the files and you will have to move on to something else in crypto. Unfortunately, again, there is no workaround for this, but the good news is this pop-up only shows up once when you first run the file. And now, just like that, we are eight minutes into the video where the first probably three to four minutes was taking a look at coin market cap and talking about unminable. We are up and running mining Bitcoin using my RTX 3070 here in 2025 with unminable. So really in less than five minutes, assuming you already have the Bitcoin address ready to go, you can start mining Bitcoin. Now, just a few final things I want to mention about mining with unminable. So there's no surprises. When you first get started, as long as everything looks pretty similar to what you're seeing on screen here, you got some blue, yellow, green text, no red errors, you are up and running and mining. Now it does take 15 to 30 minutes for the information to show up under the addresses tab here on Unminable. That's completely normal. So if you still don't see anything after about an hour or two, something may be going on, double check that there's no errors and feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. Now, on the other side, when you're ready to be done mining, maybe you want to play some games, just turn off the computer, whatever it might be, all you have to do is find the CMD window and hit the red X. Once that window is closed out, you are no longer mining. 
Now, the reason I like to mention this is because with Unminable and other mining programs, you may actually continue seeing stats and even payments into your on-site balance here for up to 12 hours or longer after stopping the miner. This has led to some of the uh, viewers here on the channel asking, you know, hey, is this thing still mining even though it's closed out? As long as that window's closed, you can know that you are no longer mining. So it's a little weird, but hey, I wouldn't complain too much. You're still getting paid and you're not having to mine. So with that being said, again, if you run into any issues throughout this entire process, Process, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. And if you are getting any errors, make sure to include those errors so I can best help you. But if you liked this video, please consider hitting the like button. It really does help out the channel and allow us to provide these videos for free. Also, make sure to subscribe and click that bell to stay up to date on all things crypto. And if you're looking to support our channel a little further, we do also have the super thanks and channel membership options down below, which any support in that area is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.